So, what does this wreck Camry right here? Notice missing a few things. It's a 2010. This thing was stuffed hard, front and back. What does this vehicle have to do with this Camry right here? Well, I'll tell you, this Camry right here was setting misfire codes, random misfire codes. Nothing I could do would straighten that out. Not sure why, but couldn't get it to straighten out. Uh, it's got new plugs in it. Uh, the coils themselves are fine. I tried swapping them around just to see. I took coils out of another vehicle, tried them in this one just to see. Never changes. It always sets a misfire code. I'm not sure why. Did a little research and found it's possible there's an internal failure in the PCM. So look here. Here's the old PCM. I just took it out. There's the PCM from the other one. I just bolted that in place. I got a charger on it just to see. Um, you know, basically, not just to see, but just to keep voltage up on it. So now I'm going to try to start this thing. Now, can you take a PCM out of one vehicle and stick it in another? Normally not. Let's see what happens. All right. Oh, there it shut down. Let's turn the blower off. Yep, security system is active. So now what? Well, Apparently, there's a trick to doing this. You can actually use the PCM from another vehicle. I gotta find a DLC. Let's go hunting. So we go up under the dash here, and there's the DLC. And what we have to do, let me zoom in a little bit. What we have to do is we have to take pin four and pin five and jump them together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that right now, and oops, I'm going to zoom in on that. Let me just show you. I use a piece of wire. Some people use a paper clip. I don't like using paper clips, and the reason being is when you use a paper clip on something like this, you can spread out the terminal and actually ruin the terminal. So now, next time you go and you try to like hook a scanner up to it or something like that. If you spread those terminals out enough, you may get false readings out of your scanner or no communication or something like that, but it won't work correctly. So what I do is I take a wire, and this is a fine gauge wire, and I just strip it and twist the end a little bit, and I'm gonna stick this in there. And the reason being is this is soft copper, so this is gonna kind of you know mold into that connector. I don't have pins that I can actually use. I would prefer to use pins, but I don't have any that'll fit this particular connector. So this is what I'm going to use. So let me get this in place. All right, so now I got the terminal shorted. And what you do is, this is actually the top of the connector, even though it's the bottom in here. Because as you can see, it kind of has a triangulated shape to it. But on the top portion, you're going to go into terminal four. And on the bottom portion, you're going to go into terminal five. You're going to jump those. And then you turn the key to the run position like so and as you see there's lights all flashing you got the cruise control light flashing you got whatever it is the trash control light low tire airbag abs seat belt they're all flashing and what you want to do is you want to have that flashing for 30 minutes so now i got a timer set for 30 minutes i got my battery charger on there on two amps uh, just to hold the charge in there i got uh, the radio's off, the fan's off, you know, all the accessories are off. You don't want to leave anything on to possibly drain a battery because you can, you can ruin a computer by doing that. So I'm going to come back to this in 30 minutes and let's see what we got. All right, so how do we make out on the Camry? Walking up to it, let's find out because 30 minutes is up. All right, we're going to go inside here. Lights are still flashing. I don't, I guess that's okay. Reach underneath here. Pull that wire out. Key off. Key on. Look at that. It actually runs. Alright, so I learned something new today. 
I did not know you could do that. Now supposedly, they say you gotta leave this thing running for about 10 minutes, because it needs to relearn idle and some other stuff. How true that is, I don't know, but I'm gonna do it, because what they told me before actually worked. So, that's it for today. Ow, damn it, that car is hot, put my arm on it. If you get something out of my videos, hit the like button. If you could, please subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe too. Subscribe. Can't even speak English still. All right, that's it for right now. I'm waiting for the Snap-on guy to show up. He should be here any second. Uh, that's it. So I hope you guys have a great day and keep wrenching.